forward with it. We have already spoken about uh, the Sweden Comprehension for many, many times. First, we started with the uh, three cheers for the nanny state, and uh, later we entered into the new one, which is uh, the PAM. In uh, both uh, three cheers for the nanny state and also PAM, the PAM, they are speaking about the same problem, which is uh, trying to imposing or implementing uh, laws upon the American society, especially in uh, New York. In uh, both of the reading comprehension, you have mentioned that uh, the mayor of New York, Mr. Bloomberg, is trying to impose a law about uh, the soda's amount uh, that anyone can uh, drink. Of course, the people uh, have been divided. Some of them uh, accepted uh, the law and welcomed it, actually, and others, uh, they just hated uh, the law. In uh, three cheers for the United States, we have spoken about how those who are accepting the law are just uh, seeing the bright side or the full half of the cup which is uh, so the drinks are bad for our health and the mayor is trying uh, to protect uh, us and make us more better on the other hand uh, in pan pan those uh, who just refused uh, this uh, law are uh, seeing uh, the other side of uh, the cup which is uh, by imposing such law now where you are telling me about what to drink later you'll tell me about uh, what to eat how to move uh, how to walk now you are interfering in my own uh, liberty and uh, we are uh, the land of freedom uh, right and because we are the land of freedom and the home of the brave we're not becoming uh, like the big brother like those of uh, the soviet union as uh, the author is here in uh, the reading comprehension so just to say that uh, we were born free we are the land of freedom you do not take away my freedom you will not uh, treat me as uh, the big brother okay as if we are in uh, the soviet union so all the problem is about uh, imposing laws that is against uh, the american citizens will because by now by imposing that law later on you will impose other laws so let's continue our reading comprehension in page 288 after this quick uh, revision. All right, Otebi, will you start? Yes, teacher. Hello, teacher. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, the, intention, uh, the intention of New York, Michael, um, New York Mayor Michael R. Bloomberg may be laudable, but it's wrong uh, for one man, even an elected official and even well meaning one at that, to dedicate to people how big a cup of sugary soda these are they're allowed. What is the meaning of the RTB? Then they're saying like uh, uh, my my Michael R and uh, says Bloomer Bloomberg maybe level and they say like they say for uh, they say like the it. Uh, it's like a difference, and uh, even if there's like, even if there's like a, of sh a sugary soda, they must allow it like that. That is what I'm saying. So simply here, they are telling us, even if the intentions, the good deeds of the mayor Plumpard are laudable. Laudable means they are uh, good they are uh, great they are in good manners a good shape they are trying to educate us and to, uh, do something good for us uh, even though the intentions are uh, laudable you cannot dictate people you cannot order people about how sugary soda they are allowed or not allowed you cannot tell me what to do and what not to do it's my own liberty and my own freedom so even if your intentions uh, are respectable, are laudable, so you do not also order me what to do and what not to do. Khaled?
خالد الخليفة هلو او اوكي 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 goes further than something like a soda tax which might aim to discourage people from purchasing something by making it cost a bit more but leaves the decision the, the, the decision in their hands bloomberg is playing nanny in the worst sort of, of way by interfering in a basic private transaction involving a perfectly legal substance and restaurants and other establishments overseen by the city's health inspectors, it would be illegal to sell a serving of most sugary drinks, except fruit juice. I always wonder about that exception, considering the sugar calories in apple juice. That's more than 16 ounces. All right, can you illustrate this please, Khalid? Can I explain it? Yes. Uh, at the beginning of the paragraph, she's saying that um, uh, the soda is uh, bad for you in uh, large quantities, and the evidence uh, against it that if you use a semi uh, regular basis or take it. Uh, that thing and by uh, mayor's intent goes further like he wants the soda to have a tax which he think that it would make people uh, buy the soda less because it costs more and also he and also he's saying that um, he's doing it in the bad way of sorting it uh, and also, he, they could just put it in private transactions. So I think she means when she said private transaction involving a perfectly legal substance, that maybe they could like, um, how do I say it? They could like buy it secretly, right? Okay. Or purchase the thing like without anybody knowing, like so slow cost. And also other restaurants uh, seen by the health inspector, uh, they, sa they said that it would be illegal to sell a, serv a serving of most uh, sugary drinks. And also, except, uh, of course, except the ju juice, the uh, normal fruit juice. And that's all. Okay, thank you very much. So okay. here in the second paragraph, the author is speaking to us about uh, that. Uh, okay, uh, it's not about having a tremendous regard for soda. Uh, I hate soda. So it's not about that I'm being in favor of soda. No, it's just uh, bad for you. Soda is bad for you. That's fact. It has already been proven that uh, soda is bad, especially in large quantities. If you are drinking large quantities of soda, it's very, very, very bad for your health. Sir. The evidence against it was made in the laboratory on the semi regular basis, not the large amounts. So imagine that by drinking semi-regular basis, it's bad for your health. What about the large quantities? What is it gonna do to your own body? But uh, the mayor's initiative, initiative like a start, uh, goes further uh, on some uh, thing like uh, the soda taxes. Okay, you don't want to uh, just stop drinking large amounts of soda? All right, I'll just read the taxes on soda. And by that, instead of buying uh, the larger quantity, you will buy uh, the regular basis. That's if you put it even uh, from the beginning. Yeah. So this will discourage uh, the people from uh, purchasing uh, or buying uh, something that is costly because you know that uh, everything right now is uh, becoming so high in prices. So I'll just uh, raise the taxes even more uh, for uh, the soda drinks. Uh, but unfortunately, the mayor here is playing the nanny state in its worst way. If you can remember the term nanny state, it's a, a not good term. It's a very bad term for using your own powers against the people in a state. So 
our mayor Plumberg is playing the nanny state and it's forced interfering because simply he's interfering in our own choices. How is he able to do such a thing? Here we are living in a free world, so you do not tell me what to do and what not to do, right? So he's interfering in our basic needs, our own liberty. The private transaction involving a perfectly legal substance. Okay, you need that legal substance, you need the soda, all right, here is the soda, but you must pay taxes for it. And restaurants and other establishments are overseen by the city's health and inspectors, so everywhere that provides soda is going to be monitored by the city's health inspectors. It would have been illegal to sell a serving of more sugary drinks. So if you are selling these sugary drinks, you're going to be fined. You're going to be in money. Perhaps you're going to be in jail also, except, of course, for the juice one. I always wonder what about the exemption considering the sugary calories in apple juice that's more than 16 ounces so simply in apple juice you are providing me more sugar also than the soda if you're gonna first prohibit the soda later on you will just stop selling the apple juice right and here guys all the problem of this really comprehension lies all right so it's not just about uh, the coca drink or the uh, soda drinks no it's about right now we are panning the soda drinks because of the sugar they contain but later on you'll find out that uh, the apple juice contains 16 ounces of sugar so you're gonna stop that too and step by step you're gonna stop everything yeah, that uh, we are having so you are interfering in our own choices and this is not allowed all right muhammad al-faleh still with us yes teacher how are you number three please okay convenience stores such as 7-eleven are overseen by the state and would be exempt but a Burger King across the street would be restricted. Pizza restaurants would not be able to sell a two-liter bottle of soda that would be shared, about, shared out among the children at a birthday party. But they could all have 16 ounces cup. The inherent, the inherent contradictions that make it easy to sneer at such rules have been well re reported and were a good part of why earlier this week a judge stopped the new rules from being implemented. <clears throat> but he also pointed out a deeper problem. Bloomery Essentials made this decision himself. It was approved by the Board of Health, but that's a board of the administration appointed by the mayor that that was that was an overreach that thwarted the system of che of checks and blanks and blanks according to the judge the the separate the separately elected city council would have to approve the law all right can you explain this please i'm not uh, yeah, sure. So uh, after, uh, so she uh, later is uh, talking about how the market, supermarket 7-Eleven uh, is overseen by the state and uh, Burger King and the state uh, restricted from selling more of the soda. Even a pizza restaurant would not be able to sell uh, a two liter bottle uh, of soda. Because uh, because of the law, so they need I think to get everyone sixteen ounces a cup. Um, the current condition that makes it easy to see such as rules have been well reported and were a good part. Why earlier this week a judge stopped the new so uh, as a judge who stopped these new rules, so maybe he disagreed with the rules. So yes, he he stopped them. 
uh, from being implemented. And then he pointed to uh, to another uh, problem that is people or a big problem. Uh, Bloomberg essentially, uh, Bloomberg essentially made this decision himself. It was uh, it was approved by the board of health, but that's a board of administration appointed by the mayor. So he tried to he tried to do something, but it was approved by the health, board of health. But the board of administration, uh, they appointed it. They, they, they appointed it to the mayor. Yeah. That's it. And to address number three, we are continuing with the same problem. That uh, now, after passing this law of uh, just uh, prohibiting uh, and panning uh, the soda drinks, uh, now convenience stores like 7 Eleven, they are allowed by the administration and by the government. So, they are going to be seen by the state. You can buy the drinks from there, only the 16 ounce drink. Okay? But on the other hand, what about Burger King across, across the street? What about the uh, machines in the streets that sell soda? So they are going to be restricted. So you will not be able to buy your soda drinks from there. So soda is going to be very dear. Not anyone can find it. Uh, you will have to go to a specific place, uh, which is convenient to the state in order to buy it, right? But what about if I'm having a party right now, a birthday party, for example, and we need just two liter bottle of soda in order to share among our children? What can we do? You will uh, pan this also? Yes, also this is going to be restricted. Uh, but uh, you still can have the 16 ounce cup which is a very small cup, by the way. But, okay, I'll just go along with you. Now you are panning the two liters, right? And allowing me to have a 16 ounce cup. But, can I take more than one cup? And here lies the problem. If I'm able to take more than just one cup, uh, which is 16 ounce. So why did you pan the two liters at the first place? Because I'm having it. Either way, if I need to have it, I'll just have it by applying more than one cup, and that's it. So the inherent contradiction here that makes it easy to sneer such a rule have been well reported, and we're a good part of the early this week also. So the judge just took that this is stupid law because it's useless. You can still have the amount of soda you want. Of course, it's going to be higher in that price. Yet uh, you will still be able to obtain it. Uh, but uh, the deeper problem in this, uh, all of these uh, places that are uh, uh, monitored by the healthcare or the board of health, the board of health itself was appointed and approved by the mayor himself. So all the people in this board are friends of uh, the mayor, and they all share the same. Uh, uh, background information and also the same views. So it was just useless to pass down this uh, law, especially of uh, the overreach uh, that uh, throw it to the, the system of the check balances. According to the judge, the separately elected city council would have approved uh, the law. Not only the health committee that was uh, supervised and elected by the mayor himself, uh, but uh, the uh, city council, which was elected by the people themselves, because uh, you are electing those uh, who have your same uh, views and your same ideas. So, if those approve the law, then uh, we can pass uh, the law. If uh, they did not, did approve, you, can I read? Yes, I see. Then the law will not be allowed. Okay, like so four, right? Yes. That still leaves the question of whether governments or their leader leaders can begin dictating the look of an individual's meal, the portion sizes for each aspect. There are times when government has to step in an obviously dangerous situations, especially those such as smoking that affect people affect people other than the person whose behavior would be curbed but it's believed that we want to scrutinize 
them carefully and keep them to minimum. For that matter, it's not as though the mayor is moving to limit sales of to two cigarette cigarettes per transaction. Yes. Can you illustrate this, please? It's talking about the the question that the cover is trying to find the solution for it that the things that the people are doing it's not dangerous only for them that the what they are doing also for the other people that like the smoking you affect yourself and you affect people that uh, smell the smoke and that's a carbon carbon dioxide and it's bad for the environment okay so here in paragraph number four, uh, this is to leave the, the question whether the governments and the reader are going to begin to dictate uh, the local individual's meal. So now you are telling me about what to drink. Next, you will tell me about what to eat and what not to eat. The portion, the size of what I eat are going to be expected also. They are going to be monitored. You will have to eat only 100 grams of rice per each meal. Or what are you going to do next? There are uh, times when government has stepped in on obviously dangerous situations. So when there is a dangerous situation that uh, threatens our own health and most of uh, the uh, people's health, then yeah, government now must step in, must take an action, because it's their own rule to do so, especially those such as smoking. Okay, I totally agree with the smoking. Smoking is uh, not allowed, it's very bad for your health, and not only the one who smokes, but also the one who's just standing next to him. That's why we found out that smoking is prohibited in most of the facilities, okay, especially the common facilities for local. So if you are in an airport, you're not allowed to smoke, because if you are smoking, other passengers do not smoke, so it's not allowed in uh, uh, the highway, okay. Uh, for example, in uh, some facility of the government, you will find out that smoking is prohibited. Yeah, we totally agree with this. But do not come imposing me to do something that is against my will. Okay? You will not be able to scan them carefully and keep them at a minimum. All right? Because right now you're telling me about what to do. The second step, you will just uh, limit uh, the tobacco. Sales and also you will. Teacher, what is the tobacco? Tobacco, what's inside the cigarettes and hemp? Ah, okay. Okay, the chemicals that are inside the cigarette. Tobacco actually is a plant. Okay, this plant we use it and we add some chemicals to it in order to make the cigarettes. Okay, so tobacco originally is a plant. Then we have this plant and do the process of making it into uh, the components of a cigarette by adding some chemicals to it. And we will put the tobacco and the chemicals inside the, the cigarette. So you are now are gonna limit also the sales of tobacco and also will only allow two cigarette transactions per day. So if you are going to buy a pack of cigarettes, for example, you will find the man telling you that, no, you are only allowed two cigarettes. Come on. It just doesn't make any sense. All right, in paragraph number five. Muhammad al Khattad. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Paragraph number five, please. Uh, the government has to uh, abet the situation. Schools don't have to sell junk food, and thankfully, after years of sacrificing their students' health, it is desired to raise more money. Most of them have stopped allowing vending machines stocked with sodas. Governments are no, under no obligation to sell stuff 
such stuff in park or pool vending machines or in their offices. In such cases, governments government is simply a vendor making a decision about what it wants to sell. Now I can explain this. I don't want to. Let's try to. Okay. <laughs> the schools. Uh, it's about it's about that governments shouldn't be able to do stuff on their own. They should actually to uh, allow, allow other people to do stuff. You you oh. can't you can't like tell you can't you can't the government can't say you should sell little sodas and you should sell non non uh, non fatty f f chips or something. I don't know. It's the to the vendor. He the guy who wants to sell. He can sell whatever he wants. So simply, you can find the the soda and uh, the vending machines. Do you know the vending machine boy? That you insert money in, and after that you find it will provide you with the watch room. Okay, this is the vending machine. Of course, most of the vending machines and the wallet they sell soda, right? Each one of them you'll find there is soda inside. Soda. Any most of the vending machines they sell soda. So right now, if the government is passing a law that prohibits selling soda, then they will stop the vending machines also. But by doing so, you will start monitoring the vending machines. You will start monitoring also the junk food. And step by step, you are becoming the vendor making himself. You are just the provider now. So just imagine, instead of this vending machine, that's the government telling you there is only these options in front of you, and you must choose one of them. So the government is becoming the vendor making a decision himself. Mm, nice. And no, it's not nice actually because they are limiting your uh, options. Okay. For no, example, no, I'm uh, saying like nice, uh, like very good for the government. Yeah, for the government, it's very good because now they are imposing the law they want. But for us, we must have our, uh, our opinion and our option. For example, if you are uh, going to buy uh, a shoe or you are going to buy a t shirt, okay. And I'm only providing you with two t-shirts. These are the only ones in front of you. And you need to buy one. So you're either buying this one or that one. You don't have a third opinion, right? Uh, just imagine imposing this to all of you students. So all of you will end up wearing the same outfit, drinking the same drinks, eating the same food, so, which is very bad for us. Teacher, isn't that just private schools? Because we need to sometimes wear the same uniform, uh, drink this, uh, eat the same food, because, you know. No, um, in my old school, they gave you. According to the outfit, I believe uh, I'm in favor of the outfit. Actually. I do okay. approve of uh, the uh, uniform of the school. Because uh, not all of the students have the ability to wear another outfit each day. But uh, they all can wear the uniform each day. What do, what do they mean? I wear the same outfit like each day. I, I'm so lazy. Actually, it has another opinion that we can discuss later about uh, how that uh, by wearing just one outfit, you feel equality among yourselves. So all of the students now in the school, they are equal. There is no one that is supervisor, that uh, uh, a lower one. All of you are equal, all of you are having the same decision, all of you must become friends and work together. So yeah, that's... I think it's not uh, about it. this way. <clears throat> Actually, it's about that. Yeah, I think it's about how children should not, uh, like, uh, uh, just have a first look about a person from his clothes. Yeah, that's why being equal. Okay, all yeah. of us are equal, so you don't have just to prejudge prejudge a person by his own outfit yes and actually i'm in favor of it and i i really wish if our school does this
Okay. So paragraph number six, Mr. Zuhair. Paragraph number six. I don't buy the argument that people are helpless in the face of sugar and that it's better to have a government rather than the corporations uh, dictate their behaviors. If people are so helpless against soda, the miners addic uh, addict e edict? Oh, addic uh, addict would would be even more meaningless because more people would simply buy t uh, 216 on scups. But people are not helpless, and it's worrisome uh, to pr and it's worrisome to promote in a philosophy that infantilizes infantilizes the individual. The public is so, uh, is simple, ill, simple, ill informed, simply ill in, in. Holy crap! I can't read today. Simply ill-informed. It takes a while for people to become aware, but they don't. Uh, but they do, and they react. Soda consumptions are already slipping nationwide. Uh, nation, uh, nationwide. All right. So, what is the meaning of this? Can you explain that right here? Okay. So people are. Uh, it's basically saying that. The public is be they're they're getting lied to the public they're getting lied to ill informed and people are becoming more aware and they do how they react soda they stop drinking soda okay so the authors here in this uh, paragraph and here paragraph number six uh, are providing us with their own point of view that uh, come on guys no, do not tell me that we all are just uh, very weak, very fragile, that we are waiting for the government to interfere in our own uh, personal life and tell us what to drink and what not. I do not buy this. This is not true. Okay? Because simply anyone can just buy two 16 ounces cups. So you did not solve the problem. You are just trying to impose your own point of view. And uh, this makes the public simply and inform it. You are treating us as kids. Just imagine. Now you want to have uh, uh, a meal, for example. Okay? This meal, I know that it's a junk food for you and uh, it's going to hurt you. So instead of giving you the meal, I'll give you only half a meal. But if you are hungry, I'll give you another half. <laughs> then <laughs> what did I do? I didn't do anything. So you are just treating us like kids. And uh, this is not uh, good. And for the last uh, paragraph, uh, let's not forget that uh, scientists and even governments have at times pushed people uh, with better intentions, uh, with better intention uh, than food uh, corporation, certainly, into eating a high level of uh, refined carbohydrates and sugars by sending out uh, word that uh, the only thing that really matters when it comes to obesity is to eat a very low fat diet so you are imposing your mind even diet when you are telling me that in order to lose weight you must follow a low fat diet so you are telling me what to do and what not to do again you are imposing my own choices and you are imposing your own laws with a better way so do not just tell me what to do and what not to do just leave all the options free in front of me and just simply let me choose okay any questions so far with it all right so the first question we have who is uh, uh mitchell Trumperg? of course he is the mayor of new york According to the author of Pan Pan, what is life all about? It's about freedom of the choices. What does uh, the author of So Does uh, Problem? But uh, think of the argument that people are helpless in the fact uh, of sugar. He does not buy this. He doesn't believe in this. Okay, I don't buy the argument that people are 
the help of us. So, Plumberg is a New York mayor. Life is a poet. Freedom of the choices. And according to the argument, he does not buy that argument. Any questions so far, Grade 8? No, teacher. All right, nice having you, Grade 8. Now you can 